question for you today. What intimidates you? For some people, it's speaking in public. <laughs> For some, it's making a video and posting it on the internet. For others, it's balancing a checkbook or dealing with financial records. That would be me. Yeah, I'm, I'm really very phobic about that. But, you know... A lot of people are, are intimidated by studying the Bible. And I can see why. In fact, wait just a minute. I had to put on my scholarly glasses for just a second. Do I look smarter now? You see, I recently just started a study of the book of Hebrews. And I'll tell you, I was intimidated by that. In fact, I was so intimidated that I, I went to Amazon and I bought these commentaries that I've been using because, doggone, the book of Hebrews is heavy. It is scholarly. It is the finest Greek in the Bible. And um, I remember uh, several years ago when my kids were little, I would with my husband have nightly devotions with them and and they were around 9 and 11 and I did the book of Hebrews with them what was I thinking I kind of got into it and I thought you know you really need to have your head examined for even attempting this with children so in my blog um, that I write most days uh, I wrote this post that I'm I'm videoing about today, and the name of it was because that's how I feel about the book of Hebrews. But, you know, the Holy Spirit lives inside each Christian, and um, the Holy Spirit also speaks to even non-believers. And um, God says in the Bible that if we seek Him, we will surely find Him. And... Um, that applies to unbelievers who desperately want to know God. He allows himself to be found. And it applies to those of us who already know him and maybe have even known him for many years. But we want to know more. We want to learn more. And his Holy Spirit, who lives in our hearts, enlightens us. And, and he provides for us tools like pastors and Bible teachers and commentaries and different translations and bloggers and vloggers and just all kinds of helps out there. So don't be intimidated by the Bible. It's God's word to us and he wants us to read it. If you go to the written blog um, in this first post that I did about Hebrews, we look at who wrote the book. That seems like a fairly basic question, doesn't it? Who wrote the book of Hebrews? But you know, <laughs> it's not that simple. So if you want to read about my research about that, um, you can go to my written blog, resplendentdaughter.blogspot.com for more information. But the thought I leave you with today is that God loves you and he's given you all the information you need to lead a life that is abundant and free. Just go read the Bible. You'll be glad you did.